I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. And now it begins. Hey guys, we have some pretty damn exciting news today. HBO has officially greenlit a follow-up pilot to Game of Thrones, of course the biggest show in history. And according to HBO themselves, this potential spin-off will take place during the Age of Heroes into the Long Night. Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome back to Smokescreen. And today I ran across an article on entertainmentweekly.com, so I will leave the link to the original article in the description below. But apparently HBO has officially greenlit a pilot. Now this does not mean necessarily they will order an actual series. This means that they will have a script and have a pilot shot to see if it potentially comes the first Game of Thrones spinoff. So apparently this is going to take place about 10,000 years before our story starts, and that is during the Age of Heroes. And according to this article, the main showrunner will be Jane Goldman, who has worked on things such as Kingsman, The Secret Service, X-Men, First Class, and Kick-Ass, and of course our own author, George R.R. R. Martin. So something else to keep him busy as we wait on the winds of winter. But anyway, Jane Goldman seems to have a pretty impressive resume, and keep in mind that during the initial news about a year ago that there would be potentially five different spinoffs, Dan and Dave, who work on Game of Thrones now, will not be involved in this project and HBO themselves have released an official description of the show's storyline, and I quote, taking place thousands of years before the events of Game of Thrones, the series chronicles the world's descent from the golden age of heroes into its darkest hour. And only one thing is for sure, from the horrifying secrets of Westeros' history, to the true origin of the White Walkers, the mysteries of the East, to the Starks of legend, it's not the story we think we know. So this sounds very, very interesting here, and I will go over quickly some things that we could take from this as far as what could happen, because we do have a little bit of information about the Age of Heroes, but it's all surrounded in mystery. But we do have a lot of big characters during the Age of Heroes that we could learn a lot more about. And I really like how they're saying it's not the story we think we know. So for a very quick explanation of the Age of Heroes, this was a time about 10,000 years ago. So we'll likely find out that that timeline is incorrect, because at that time, nobody wrote things down in books. Everything was passed down from generation to generation via oral tales and song, so we'll likely find out that the timeline we think we know is just damn wrong. But anyway, essentially the Age of Heroes began with the signing of the pact at the Isle of Faces between the first men and the children of the forest. This of course ended the thousand year war that took place between men and children where they banded together to stop the White Walkers, who we now know the children of the forest created, and of course they ended up building the wall and forming the Night's Watch, etc. And we have a lot of interesting characters here we hear about in the world of Ice and Fire and throughout the books, but not a lot is known about them. And some of those would be Bran the Builder. Of course, he apparently was the founder of House Stark, who built the wall and Winterfell, and possibly Storm's End and the High Tower at Old Town. We have Land the Clever, who supposedly founded House Lannister when he swindled Casterly Rock from the Casterlys using nothing but his wits. We have, of course, Garth Greenhand, the ancestor of House Gardner of the Reach, who is potentially the first king to ever cross over the Narrow Sea into Westeros himself. We have Duran, the first of the Storm Kings, who apparently raised Storm's End, possibly with the help of Bran the Builder, and of course we know in our story now that the Stormlands are held by the Baratheons. We have the Grey King of the Iron Islands, who would eventually become the Ironborn, and many other famous houses we hear about in the books, such as the Blackwoods and Brackens, and even the Boltons, who had a lot of issues with the Starks back in the day as well. So we have a lot of interesting characters here that I would love to know more about as far as the real person as opposed to the legends of the person. But also keep in mind, being 10,000 years or so before Game of Thrones, we will not see any familiar characters that we know of, except possibly the Night King. We could possibly see the Night King being created again in that storyline, and it could be the actual same actor or character, because he is the same guy who was created the first time by the Children of the Forest. And of course, we've already got that confirmation by Bran in Game of Thrones. So it's very interesting to me that they chose this as a potential first series. Either way, I will be keeping up with the news, etc. that comes out about this potential prequel and any potential prequel. And of course, I will cover any potential Game of Thrones, A Song of Ice and Fire prequel on this channel and keep up with any news that comes out until then because this thing won't air to at least 2020, one year after Game of Thrones Season 8. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this a good idea to have a prequel based on the Age of Heroes as Westeros descends into the Long Night? And what would you like to see as far as another prequel as well? There will potentially be five Game of Thrones prequels, and there's so much to cover, they could probably do them all. 
And anyway, guys, as usual, thank you for all the support, especially you guys on Patreon. And a huge shout out to my executive Patreon smoke screen producers, Lala Gig, Doc Holiday, Gaska Hoonjav, Lo Horton, Aaron Hadbig, John Carey, Anastasia, Jason Landers, Dit Smith, MJW, Carol Brown, D. Brown, Mike Colton, Lisa Phillips, Alfred Boismeyer, Rob Green, and Ricky Curat. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the support. And to everyone on Patreon as well. And thank you to everyone on YouTube as well. I really appreciate all the support. If you dig what I do here, please give these videos a like and a share. And please subscribe and click that notification bell so you're notified when I drop a new video. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.